Hello and welcome to this video, where we'll be taking a look at something a little different here. Now, around a year ago I spotted a piece of equipment in a hospital I was working at that was due for disposal. It was an old ultrasound machine from the early 1980s, and I thought the monitor attached to it looked really cool. Something that might suit an early computer, as I imagine this display would be black and white. Well, come to a year later, and my next time visiting this hospital, the maintenance staff had prepared the ultrasound machine for me, so I could take the monitor off it. It's a shame to see what once would have been thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment just going straight into the bin, but that's the medical world. Newer technology and stricter regulations can quickly outdate equipment. So what have we got here? According to the rear sticker, this is a Hitachi EZU MTA S5E. I should note the ultrasound machine was also a Hitachi model, and as far as I'm aware, they're still manufacturing ultrasound products to this day. Now, I had no idea when this was last powered up, and upon checking the specs, this monitor actually takes the Japanese standard 100 volts AC, meaning there would have been a transformer inside the ultrasound machine itself. We can also see here a sticker saying 50 field, which I assume means 50 hertz video signal. First power up was interesting, but very promising. There was definitely a sink hold issue here, but no explosions or smoke. I was very confident this would be fixable. I was also feeding it a 50 hertz signal, which I thought may have caused the issue, but a 60 hertz signal produced the same result. Here's a look inside the monitor, and we can see it uses a Toshiba tube. We can also see a switch on the mainboard here, labelled 5060F, which I would guess is a 50 to 60 hertz toggle switch. Very useful. I've had a few monitors in the past with similar issues to this one. My first thought was to address the vertical hold pot here, cleaning it with some circuit board cleaner and giving it a little exercise. I've been lucky in the past with seemingly dead monitors having dirty adjustment pots. And with the ladybird of good luck blessing this display, I can't see anything going wrong. Well, it seems I was in luck, because that little tweaking of the vertical hull pot seems to have fixed our sink issue, and now we have a nice clear picture. Black and white monitors are not normally something I'm too interested in, but I do really enjoy some of the crisp images they can produce. Even on this monitor, which has likely never been serviced and would be approaching 40 years old if not older by now. My plans with this monitor, providing it worked, was to donate it to a friend of mine for use with some vintage computers he has. But for now, please enjoy some video gaming performed on an ultrasound monitor. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.